and a very warm welcome to our post session creative task video number four. I'm Vicky and I am your dance, your drama and your music teacher for the Heroes of Our Time Summer School by Mousetrap Theatre Projects. Our theme is looking at superheroes, what is a hero and who are yours? Today's task is going to be looking at dramatic scenes. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. We're going to get your best acting skills together to look at characters and how you make a drama scene or we're going to look at how you might make that into a comic strip if you prefer drawing. First, we're going to pick our hero. Now this time I don't want you to pick a superhero. I want you to pick an everyday hero. This is someone that you might know or you might have seen or heard of which helps everyday people just like us. An example could be a postman or a postwoman who always delivers our letters with a smile. Maybe a family member who's always there for us or a friend. Or maybe a nurse or a doctor or a teacher that we know who's always working extra hard to help others. Do you remember the fortunately and unfortunately game that we played in our session earlier. So what happens is someone starts a story, unfortunately, is for bad things and fortunately is for good things. So the first thing you have to do is choose your everyday hero. My everyday hero is somebody I know called Christine and she is the dinner lady at my school. You are going to become your everyday hero so I am going to turn into Christine. The first thing you're going to do is your, as your hero is say hello and explain where you are. All right everyone, I'm Christine, how are ya? And welcome to my kitchen, my canteen, and I love it here. Once you've introduced your character, then you have to introduce the bad thing that happens. And we're gonna use the word unfortunately. Unfortunately, one day I was in here, and a pigeon, it came in through the window, and it flew into the kitchen and I just saw it going over and over towards all of the children's food. So once you have acted out your bad thing using the word unfortunately, you're going to do your good thing and use the word fortunately. Fortunately, I have got the most incredibly loud singing voice, if I might say so myself. And so I took a deep breath and I let out the most incredibly beautiful noise. <sighs> the pigeon took one look at me and it flew out of the window and away from the children's food. All at once, the whole canteen, all of the children cheered and clapped my beautiful singing. If you prefer drawing, instead of acting, that's okay, because I'm gonna show you now how to make your story into a comic strip, or you could always do both. So the first two boxes, one and two, on your comic strip are for the beginning of the story. So you can see that my character here, Christine, the dinner lady, is in the first one and she's saying, hello. And this is her kitchen where the story is set. 
The second jukebox is for the middle of your story. So you can see in my comic, there's the pigeon and the pigeon has come in through the window and is saying squawk. And then you can see the pigeon flying and thinking yum cake, my favorite. And in this corner is one of Christine's cakes that she has made. The third two boxes are for the end of your story. So you can see in my story there's Christine. She has her mouth open and she is singing. And in her speech bubble it says, la la la. And the last box is when she has scared away the pigeon and you can see it's flying back out of that window and its speech bubble says, I'm out of here. So I hope you had fun making up your dramatic stories about everyday heroes. It's totally fine if you didn't know how to do either. You can have a freestyle draw as well. We would love to see your scenes and your drawings in tomorrow's session. I cannot wait. See you then.